Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. Um, did you see those kohlrabi? Those were huge. I'm gonna harvest those this week and I'm looking for some different recipes so I can try them in different ways. Um, I do remember eating those raw as a kid and liking them. They kind of have a cabbagey taste, but those turned out really good this year. So anyway, today's video is going to be on pruning your tomatoes. This is one of the most important things that you can learn. Um, and I'm going to focus the camera down here so I can show you how to prune a tomato. I've actually let this tomato get pretty, pretty big and uh, out, of, out of control so I can show you a little bit more about it. So I'm going to focus the camera down here and we are going to trim this tomato. I have several to do, but this one was the one I decided to use for um, my video because it, it's a good one to make an example of. So, all right, let's move the camera. All right, so we're gonna retake this. I actually made this video the other day and showed you how to prune a tomato. And I ended up, when I looked at it, I was in front of the camera. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, to prune the suckers off of your tomato, we're gonna go to where a limb comes out, a main limb, and then you'll see something come out at a 45 degree angle. And that is the sucker that you want to take off so that you can prune this up and get it on a fence. We also want to cut off any lower leaves that are going to hang down in the soil because we're going to put this up on a fence and it'll just keep on growing taller. And hopefully I'm not in front of my tomato this time. All right, let's prune all these away. You always want to throw the dead limbs away get them away from there okay see this little guy and I call this the armpit and we want to cut him out of that see how he's growing out here we're gonna take him off that's a sucker actually this big one right here you'll see um, this is, looks like a main head and this is the main head of your tomato and this is the grow where it grows from this was a sucker as well and when they get really big um, it's more dangerous to cut them off, but I'm going to cut that off now. You could actually put that in water and root it and uh, make a whole new tomato plant, but I got so many tomato plants, I'm not going to do that. So let's check and see if we have any more. And that way this tomato is going to grow upright. And I have got a piece of rebar here. And that's what I'm going to stake my tomato to. So I'm going to grab my little twist ties. We actually have some of these. We bought a whole roll of them. But you can use lots of different things to tie up your tomatoes. One of the things we used to use, and it works really well, is just to take a cotton cloth and tear it into strips. And that works out really well. That's easy on your tomatoes. Um, I don't put it tight. I just tie it so that it holds it. Um, and then as the tomato grows, we'll just add a few more. So we're gonna put this little guy. Now, if you can kind of notice here, he's in much better shape than he was when we got there and he had limbs hanging down and suckers all over him. And now this'll be something that's more structured in the garden. While I do have this cattle panel, and oftentimes I have put my tomatoes and attached them to that. Most of the time, I prefer to have other things growing on here. Um, so I go ahead and put the rebar in the ground for my tomato plants. Um, so that's what that's how you prune a tomato. And it doesn't hurt them. Uh, and you can get other tomato plants by doing that and putting them in water. So hopefully, this video came out and I was not actually in front of the tomato plant. Thanks for joining me. All right, so I came up here on the patio so I could take one of these that I planted um, and show you up close how to prune this. Now, this looks pathetic actually, if you were didn't know, but um, this tomato can turn out to be a great tomato plant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prune this up. These um, are desperate to be planted. They've grown taller than they need to. But we're going to plant it really deep. Um, so I'm going to show you. We're going to cut off the bottom limbs. Prune it up. Make nice neat cuts so that it doesn't open it up to any disease. 
I have a broken leaf here, so we're going to cut that off. And then when I was showing you that sometimes, see how there's two heads on this. Now this tomato is going to go both of these directions. Sometimes you can have up to four on there, but we don't want that. So we're going to take off. We're going to figure out which one seems like the main one, which I think it's this one. And then we're going to cut this other one off. Um, now, had the main head broken off, you could have just let this one grow and it would take over leading the plant. But let's cut that one off. And now we have this lovely little tomato. If we bury it um, deep, we're going to bury it to about, oh, up to here. Because remember I told you in previous videos that all those little hairs turn into roots. And a lot of people are talking about laying their tomato on the side. The reason that I don't like to do that is... There's a couple of reasons, but one is when you lay it on the side, then your leaves are going to be close to the ground, which is where the bugs are that want to eat them. And it's putting it close to the ground. Oh, look, there's a little, another little guy in there I can clip off. He's trying to grow right out of that armpit. Let's get it rid of him. Um, but anyway, the, you most tomato diseases come out of the soil we don't want that so I don't want to lay my tomatoes down to plant them uh, plus another and this was my husband's reasoning which I think it's very good reasoning is let's say that we get we plant him up to here and we get some rain and the rain goes down in the soil to here um, but then it dries out and this is what we've always done in our big garden we only watered once last year so um but you've got all this way that it's down in the ground that it can draw moisture from. So you can see this one needs planted. Uh, this is a dark galaxy tomato. So it gives you um, more options for drawing moisture out of your soil if you know you had watered it really good before, let's say, and but the surface was starting to dry out. Your roots are going to go deep and they're going to draw moisture deep out of the soil. Plus, there's a few things like... Um, comfrey uh, dandelions they put roots way down deep in the soil and the deeper you go the more nutrients the plant is able to draw up that just things like grass and weeds and stuff haven't drawn the new you know haven't been able to get the nutrients out because their root system is usually pretty shallow so burying a plant a tomato just a tomato not every plant you can do that but burying a tomato deep Given this little guy, you know, from here up. Now, see, that looks like a healthy tomato if you just saw it from here up. So, that actually works out really well for us. And we don't have to water so much. So, anyway, learning how to prune your tomatoes is a very important part of gardening. Um, so, I hope that you go out and check your tomatoes. Check their little armpits. Be sure there's no little shoots coming out of there. And... Uh, if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Share this with your friends. Also, I've started a garden club, as I mentioned earlier, um, and I'd love to have you join that. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun, and it's a whole community of like-minded people that want to learn how to garden, and uh, we all share tips and tricks and pictures of our beautiful gardens. So, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you on the next video.